Hey, this is Josh with Budget Mechanic. Today I want to talk to you about a really common issue I get asked about all the time, and that is the windshield washer. The sprayer that's supposed to come out of the two little nozzles and wet your windshield down. You can have all kinds of problems with that, like the main one obviously is that nothing comes out, or it comes out only on one side and not the other, or it's really weak, or it's shooting off to the side or up over your roof. It's a pretty simple system and pretty easy to check out, so if you're having any of those problems, this is the video for you. Before we get started, I just want to thank all of you that have already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't, please do so and tap that alert. It really helps us make more videos. The windshield washer system is pretty simple. It's just like four elements. You've got your reservoir with your fluid in it and a pump that's attached that pumps the fluid through the hoses and out the nozzles that are usually on your hood. So it's going to be something wrong with the, one of those four elements. The most common I find is something to do with the reservoir or the motor or the pump. If it's not working, you might want to check and make sure that you have fluid. Then there's a motor or a pump that's actually attached to the side of the reservoir and it pumps the, the fluid out. You can have motor problems, so those get clogged up or the motors go bad or maybe your fuse blew out. There's a fuse for those motors, so that's something you want to check. I would say though that motor burning out is pretty common, especially if someone has let their fluid drain all the way out to the bottom then your pump burns out because it doesn't have anything to, to lubricate and cool it down. So if no fluid is coming out, there's a couple things you can do to help you diagnose what's going on. The first one is, if you turn the key into the accessory position and you push the sprayer button, the motor will run. And if you can stick your head out the window or have a friend put his head down by where the, the motor is, you should be able to hear it whining and buzzing if it's working. So if you hear the motor running, you know that it's not that problem. And then you're going to move on to fluid related stuff. So the second thing you can do is look for washer leaks. So if your reservoir is cracked and it's just leaking out onto the ground, look for a puddle on the ground. Or in the engine compartment, if one of the lines is broken or leaking and not getting to the, the sprayer nozzles, it's going to be going somewhere, probably on your engine or under your hood lining, you want to look for puddles. So on their way up to the washer nozzles, your washer lines go up usually under a covering on your hood and on most cars it splits from one line and wise out to two to go to two different nozzles and that split is usually a plastic fitting those plastic fittings are a weak point and they break and then you've got one line that's spraying the washer fluid into your engine compartment or into your hood and it's not making it out to your windshield so if your motor's working and you don't see any leaks anywhere one thing you can do is disconnect the line before it gets to that Y split and if it sprays out at that point, you know that it's going to be something clogged with your nozzles. Now, if you hear that motor running and you've disconnected your line here at the Y, but you're still not getting water to come out of it, potentially the line is disconnected farther back, right where it hooks up to the pump. Or in some cases, if the reservoir has been run dry and left for a long time, there's a little screen filter over the pump and it can get residue on it and dry and it'll actually act as a plug. So you'd have to take the motor out and clean that filter. In rare cases, your motor could be on its way out and it's just pumping weakly, so you would need to get it replaced. If the hoses themselves are clogged, oftentimes disconnecting them from the nozzles and just running the motor will be enough to eject whatever's clogging them. So if it is your nozzles that are clogged, a lot of mechanics will make you replace the nozzles themselves. But if you're budget-minded like me, you just go get some needle or pin and you can actually unclog the nozzles, spray a few times, it might take a couple tries, but you can get them working again. Sometimes what can happen is pieces of debris get in there that are bigger than the nozzle themselves. So the only way to get it out is to basically back pressure them out. So the way that you're going to do this, disconnect the nozzle from the back side and then blow some air or some WD-40, something compressed back through the nozzle and hopefully that debris will pop out the back side. So one other issue you may experience is a sprayer that's spraying off in the wrong direction or too high or too low. And that can happen because some of the sprayers on cars are actually adjustable and they're supposed to be self-adjusting but if they get out of alignment they can spray the wrong direction if that happens to you what you got to do is basically the same as if you were cleaning it you stick something in the in the nozzle and you kind of move it around it's on a pivoting point and you should be able to redirect it so as you can see it's a pretty simple system with a little investigation you should be able to find your problem hey i hope this video was helpful thanks again for subscribing and we'll see you again next time